I started with a general sketch in oil paint, which I've watered down with turpentine quite a bit. I haven't used pencil on this one, although sometimes I do. And once I've filled it in, I'll take this one inch brush here and I'll use it to start blocking in the colors. Just to give me a general idea of the values and, and colors, I suppose. But it also allows me to stand back and get an idea of how it's looking. So I'm not going too far into the detail before I've realized I've made a mistake. I find sometimes with pencil it looks okay until you start putting all the paint on it and then you can see where things don't quite add up. So I'll put down this layer and then I'll put down another layer over it with a bit more detail. As you can see here, and uh, this colour is quite different. I think I'll definitely spend more time getting the colour right next time. If there's definitely something I have to work on, it's colour. You know, I see some artists are just amazing. There's an artist called Mark Tennant, I suggest uh, if anyone's interested to look him up because he's that kind of artist that can lay down a few brush strokes but because the colours are so accurate it, it just looks amazing, almost photographic. Just goes to show you don't need a whole lot of detail to get that photorealistic look. consider myself at this stage a particularly good painter, certainly not with uh, mixing colours, but I am very perseverant and I don't give up, I just keep, keep going until I get it right. Sometimes I'll rub it off or I'll paint over it, but normally I'll just keep going, I'll just keep experimenting with different colours until I'm happy. I think that's the key to a lot of it, it is for me anyway, I mean I just observe the uh, photograph if I'm using that or the subject or real life, and I think you just learn to observe things a lot better where you can see interactions with colours, shadows and light. this piece of the hand here I, th I thought would actually be quite nice to do but I actually struggled with it quite a bit and you can see me here just putting down different colors I'm really just experimenting and I blend quite a bit using my fingers too which they actually work quite well you'll find I jump around the painting quite a bit if I run into a bit of a problem, or if I just get bored with it, I'll move on to another section. And the funny thing is, if, you, if you're having a problem with something and you move on from it, your, your brain has this amazing ability to try and, well, to work it out. And then when you get back to it, hopefully it's all figured out. cup was more difficult than I thought it would be. It's actually a white cup but I'd say by the time I'm finished probably less than five percent of it's actually white. All the reflective colors that are on it uh, interact quite a bit so it's uh, for me it was really important to get the shadows and the shading uh, and the blending right just to get that porcelain look. But again, I used that perseverance technique until I got it right. Until I think I got it right. And 
this is just me trying different colors. I mean, the first bunch of these colors that I'm using are wrong. It's not until I go to a much deeper blue that it starts to work. And then I blend it really heavily using a soft brush. And it worked out surprisingly well. I was very happy with it. finished I start moving on to the fingers, start building up another layer, adding a bit more detail. To be honest this painting I could have probably added way more detail and just kept going. I think I got to a stage with it where, I don't know, I guess I felt it was time to move on. I think I'd learned enough from it and yeah I think I wanted to just move on to something new. not because I'm sponsored, because they're quite accessible. Uh, here in New Zealand uh, there's not a lot of art shops, you have to either travel far and wide or order them offline, so I tend to buy them when I can and Windsor & Newton seem to be the most common. Um, although I have nothing against them, I mean I, I think they're fantastic. Uh, as far as blending medium goes, I use um, liquin, poppy seed and linseed oil. I generally use a lot of liquin at this stage, although because it dries so fast I might be more inclined in the future to use linseed or even poppy seed oil. Just to give myself a bit more time to blend and start on the next phase of the painting, because some of these paintings can go for days and days, if not weeks. building up these fingers, adding a bit of detail here and there. I sort of lay down the general colours, which you would have seen in the first layer, and then I build those layers up, adding detail uh, as I go. So you can see in this piece here I'm adding a bit of light, where the light's hitting the top of that finger. Um, I could have just kept going, to be honest. I, I could have kept adding layers and more and more detail, but I just didn't feel like I needed to. But they turned out quite well. I was very happy with the, the colours. I think what's really important, you know, if you want a good painting, you, you need a good subject. Uh, that's definitely something I've been learning. If, if I'm not happy with the subject, or the lighting, or the shading, I tend to get bored, or I just... I'm not happy to do it anymore. So if I really like the subject, and I definitely like this one, I thought the colours were great, uh, I tend to be uh, more inclined to persevere with it. So I've been taking a lot of time lately to get the photography right. Uh, even taking days and days just to set the painting up, or sorry, the uh, photograph, until I'm happy with it. I might even take hundreds of photos if I have to move things around, run it through Photoshop, change the lights and the darks just to try and get what I'm happy with. Moving back to the palm of the hand, I try and add a bit more detail here. Which you know I find quite hard. It's very I'm very apprehensive about doing this because if I get the colour wrong, then I've got to, you know, go back and get it right again, if you like, because, you know, it might have looked pretty, pretty good to start with. But I'm moving on towards the end of the hand here. And I'm pretty pleased with it so far. I was really happy with how that last 
pinky finger turned out. The lighting, um, I was very happy with it. Probably more good luck than good management, but yeah, definitely happy with how that worked out. So I'm coming to the final stretch now. Just um, getting these final wrinkles finished and getting the rest of that hand done. Uh, it's been great, love doing it and very happy with how it worked out and looking forward to doing a lot more in the future. At this stage I'm not really too focused on anything other than building confidence. I haven't done this for so long that I'm just doing this to build confidence. I'm not having any expectations of myself. I'm just focused on learning and being a student and learning from other people and if I'm growing every day and learning something new every day I'm happy. working it but I thought it was time to leave it. If you're interested in more keep watching my channel there'll be a lot more videos to come.